Coal makes almost half the electricity in the U.S. and more worldwide. And most of that is what's called baseload power. The minimum amount of electricity needed all the time to power society. So we're here on a, on a pile of coal, Steve. Well, we're on a pile of coal at the W.A. Parrish Power Plant, southwest of Houston, Texas. Uh, this power plant's got over 3,600 megawatts of generation with uh, four coal-fired units and produce enough power to, to power more than 3 million homes in the Houston area. 3 million homes. Uh, this is uh, one of the larger power plants in the United States. So I see trains like this on the highway. How much coal is in each one of those cars? I mean, give me a feel for that. Each car has got about 100 tons in it. How often do you bring a train like that through to this facility? We have three or four a day. And that's what it takes to? That's what it takes about three trains a day to run these, run these four units. That's a remarkable amount of fuel. Yes, it is. So what's going on here? This is how we unload the coal out of the train. And you watch what's going to happen. These clamps are going to clamp down on top of the car. Then this whole dumper is going to turn upside down. Track and all? Track and all. <laughs> We've got a 24-7 operation here so that this power plant can be running all the time. So you've got this big, these big coal units that make what they call baseload power. So they're making power 24 hours a day, seven days a week to supply the minimum power demands okay. throughout the day. As it heats up during the day in Texas, people run their air conditioners. Right. A, little more, a lot more electricity is used. So okay. you've got gas units that'll come on in the heat of the day to catch the additional power. So we're here in Command Central, it looks like. This is the, the main control room for Unit 7 and 8. Tell me what happens sort of from steam point forward there. You know, we've got steam coming out of the boiler. It goes into the front of the turbine. The turbine is, is made up of a bunch of blades and vanes, and they're, they're similar shaped to airplane wings, and it causes that shaft to move. Right. So you're turning this shaft now, it's turning at 3,600 RPM. That's cooking. That's how you get 60 hertz power at your home. So 60 times a second, that 60. big generator is turning. That's right. Okay. 60 revolutions in one second. It's right. not just this generator. It's every generator in the state of Texas that's tied into the ERCOT system huh. is turning at the exact same speed. Now, like we said earlier, you can't store power. So anytime you turn on a light, someone turns on a light at home, that frequency, all those generators are going to slow down a little bit until we put more fuel in the units and pick up that load. So what happens once that, that electricity comes off of the backside of that generator? Where does it go from there? Well, off the generator, we've got giant conduits, basically. And they run out to a transformer where the voltage, they're coming off the generator about 20,000 volts. 20,000 volts? 20,000 volts <laughs> off the generator. What's my plug at home? 110? Your plug at home is, is 110. <laughs> so it's a lot higher voltage. You wouldn't want to touch and, that. And a lot more current. Once it gets out outside the building, it goes into a step-up transformer. That's where it goes into those big power lines, and it moves around the state of Texas. Every day, 66 million pounds of coal goes into the parish plant to power Houston. And if you live there, there's a good chance you're using it right now to play this video.